Now we are going to start our discussion about uh, ethics or in, uh, for the employees of IFI. We will discuss uh, the basis of uh, the code of uh, ethics. Then we are going to discuss the objectives, meanings and realizing of objectives. We will discuss the structure of code of ethics. We will see what are the rules on ethical conduct, how to maintain the self-motivation, uh, rules of conduct towards uh, the other employees and uh, what could be uh, the possible actions towards the uh, rule of conduct towards the towards those who deal with the institution in the last we'll see when this code was enforced and what is the effective date and adoption of the code itself. The concept is uh, almost the same for the accountant of this Farzik of Faya. So this is one of the collective religious duties that we do and uh, if any one of us does uh, it will uh, forfeit the uh, obligation on the others. So in terms of uh, role this is the same. What is the basic of these codes? These codes are of course uh, derived from the ethical principles and the rule contained in our code of ethics and the basis is uh, conducive to compliance with the code with various type of degree. There are standard human law, labor laws, human rights, you know, in general we have to put Sharia law, all the laws we have to take care, national laws, federal laws, uh, state laws, uh, we should see all uh, these in, into uh, in alignment of each other of course. Let's discuss the objective of the code of ethics. First of all we want to develop the employees ethical and professional awareness uh, that uh, they, they should have professional commitments, ethical commitments in them so uh, code will help them to understand the requirements uh, for uh, for them to follow, um, we should give uh, giving rights to those who are entitled to them is really important. Uh, this is a duty based on the hadith that uh, give everyone its due rights, so they should know what is their right. And same like Allah says that uh, Allah commands you to render back your trust to those whom they are due. So if something will be nice for you, good for you, you should uh, give uh, the same way the feedback uh, in general. Um, you, you can do the, the work in banking and financial industry uh, towards its development. You should try to perfect your work because Allah says that Allah loves when a person carries uh, out a deed and seek it to perfect it. So, uh, to bring more beauty in your work, to bring more uh, uh, creativity, innovation and give your work with due care is really uh, uh, a very appreciable uh, part of the employee's uh, personalities. We should bring the concept of ideas. Uh, he says that uh, help uh, ye one another in the rightest in piety. So we should try to reduce, uh, we should try to improve this concept of right ears. Right ears is like uh, preserving ties and performing good deeds and try to maintain the integrity part of this. What are the means of realizing uh, the objective of code of ethics? There are of course uh, various means. Um, they include like uh, compliance, uh, ethical conduct, which we have already discussed. Some of them is the combination of two elements, that is the Quran, um, like as uh, you know, some as. Let's discuss the mean of realizing the objective of the code of ethics. Uh, it's a combination of Quran and Hadith. Then uh, ethical standard, of course, will prevail over the inclination to compete in order to realize gains and to excel. Uh, this will be a safeguard against uh, illegitimate and unfair competition that leads to disputes and um, you know, grievances between the employees. Um, we should try to advocate uh, the self-motivation 
roles, influencing job performance. How we can move ourselves unmotivated is by creating a fear of Allah that Allah is watching in secret and in public. Then we have to adhere the Sharia and implementing its principles, observing the teaching and requirements, particularly the pillar of Sharia is built like prayers, paying zakat, you know, performing hajj and all others pillars we have to create awareness of that. We should, we should focus on implementing justice and um, we should try to bring back being quick to do good things and speak the truth. This will um, energize the environment of organization and people start loving each other, loving good for others just as he would love it for himself and avoiding wire and cord, malice, backbiting, picking on others, um, don't trust on rumors, adhering to trust and transparency in statements, and act according to the trust which the employee of the institution has taken to fulfill while you are going to join the company or IFI. We, we, we agree on certain terms and conditions, of course. There are certain uh, rules of conduct towards uh, the shareholders, manager and fellow employees. They have agency relations so they should maintain the integrity, high level of conduct in order to fulfill their beliefs towards Allah. Uh, they should develop the work through innovation and they should try to bring creativity, newness, perfection in the work. They should, they're respecting the working hours. Uh, they should not, uh, which is defined with the procedure and uh, uh, agreed with Sharia board and other certain uh, laws and regulations. Uh, they should uh, get um, acquainted with the directive and instructions issued by the management and they should try to adhere and fulfill these uh, responsibilities. They should try to, they should work in the best interest of the institution they should try to safeguard the institution in the best possible way um, regarding their assets liability equity they should refrain from working for others if it would uh, jeopardize the uh, the interest of the organization as a as a whole let's discuss the role of conduct towards those who deal with the institution um, you should be keen to meet the need of those who deal with the institution in any capacity. They are supplier, customers, people, stakeholders, giving rights to those who are entitled to give them. So you should be fair in, in giving the rights. Preserving confidential information, as we have already discussed a couple of times, that we should be a professional, uh, we should be uh, maintain the confidentiality of the secret information. Being serious in one's behavior and acting his occupation, uh, refraining from idle talk um, and uh, avoid useless activities, try to be more productive, avoid dis uh, distortions in society, be a nice and pleasant uh, employee and adopt the concept of more meaning. Um, we can read the uh, Quran and Hadith more in detail to get the full picture with more details and more references. The effective date of this standard is uh, uh, 1st January 2003 and it was adopted uh, on, uh, on 30th of April 2002.